let's take a look back on the highlights of race two. It was the Teo Martin uh, BMW and their championship rivals on the front row of the grid as they headed down to turn one. And it was a somewhat more orderly uh, run through the first corner than it was in race one. So in the opening stages, uh, Fran Rueda held the advantage, uh, but an error uh, for uh, Alberto Costa uh, caused a uh, delay to their race early on. Uh, it was tricky to overtake in the early stages. Raffaele Giamaria uh, got physical in his attempt to make an overtaking move. And Andrea Montemini uh, fell victim to a dive bomb down the inside from David Perel, which briefly looked like it might let Esteban Guerrieri take advantage. Uh, but Montemini surprised Guerrieri with a superb repass. And then it was Thomas Jaeger who made the move down the inside to reclaim the position uh, at the expense of the Honda. You had a taste of the gravel at the exit of the Lesmo 1 for good measure. Plenty of action going on throughout the field uh, between the mixed bag of uh, Lamborghinis and the rest. Uh, but the uh, Honda was able to move its way forward, particularly following the late safety car period and put a couple of great moves on, uh, particularly at the expense of uh, one of their rivals at the end of the race. Oliver Wilkinson, though, a uh, big disappointment for uh, the Mercedes. And then a late spin by Stefano Costatini caused a drama for Alexander Hraquina. Uh, but after a pair of late safety car interruptions, it was Mikel Mack who ran out the winner by one and a half seconds over Andrus Saravia. Second place for Saravia, then ahead of Venturini. And a deserved win for Mikel Mack and Alessandro Pierre Guidi.